Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my garage. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how much it would cost you if you went to Amazon and started ordering the pieces parts that I have here. Uh, for those of you that don't want to stay past 30 seconds, uh, and it seems like there's a substantial number of you according to my YouTube analytics, 30 amp system, 400 watts of panels, 400 amp hour battery, about 2,400 bucks. 50 amp system, which is what I personally recommend, 600 watts worth of panels, 600 amp hours worth of battery, about 3,600 bucks. Definitely worth the money over the 30 amp system, especially with the extra power and extra capacity. All right, for those of you that are going to bail now, like and subscribe before you do that, will you please? All right, now, let's go back to uh, the normal pace of the video here. If you're going to order all this stuff and you wanted to do it from top to bottom, I, I got the list for you here. Up on the roof, we have 100 watt panels. They're about 85 bucks a piece on Amazon. So depending on how many you want, um, hey, they'll send them to you all day, 85 bucks a piece. I buy new power panels. Um, I, I like them. Uh, I would say power, but uh, there is no ER. It's power. Anyway, I like them. They're made in Taiwan, I believe. Um, and, and I haven't had any trouble with them at all. They work wonderfully. Uh, aluminum for the rack to hold the panels, uh, about 80 bucks. That used to be really cheap. It's gotten expensive. Uh, maybe a hundred bucks, depending on what it costs at your Lowe's or Menards or wherever it is you're going to go to get your get your aluminum. Uh, MC4 wires and connectors, uh, anywhere between forty and a hundred bucks, and could be more depending on how far away from your panels you are uh, to this and to the fuse box. Uh, it, it could cost quite a bit. Uh, the fuses and all the wire uh, itself could be expensive too, um, but not too bad depending on. Depending on what you use them for and, and, and your loads, if you got to buy all two gauge, it's going to cost you some money. Uh, but, but use some common sense. Uh, figure out how much your loads are going to be. Uh, don't go crazy with the wiring. Uh, four gauge in between batteries, I think, works just fine. Uh, I've never had a wire heating problem uh, on anything that I've used. Uh, so don't go crazy, uh, but do buy decent stuff. Um, then batteries. Batteries have finally made their way down to reasonable prices in my opinion. Um, I bought a second one, uh, like I said I would, when they got down to $650 delivered to the house. I bought the first one when it was $750 delivered to the house, and that was in July, so four months later, they're down another 100 bucks. They may fall some more. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I'm kind of feeling like 300 bucks, 250 they can't go down much more than that uh, for 100 amp hours, so 600 550 is about, uh, in my opinion, about as cheap as you're going to get, so no, no time like the present to start buying live posts. Um, charge controllers. I, I like the EP Evers. Uh, if you want to spend a bunch of money, uh, get a Victron. Uh, they're the best. At least that's what everybody says. I don't know. Um, I'm quite happy with the performance I got. Value, dollar per performance value. I don't think the EP Ever can be beat, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I don't think there's that much difference in... And when the current gets chopped off by EP Ever or when it gets chopped off by the Victron. Uh, at least according to some of the other guys, it's minutes, not hours. So uh, if you want to pay twice as much for minutes worth of extra electricity, you'd be my guest. Um, power inverters, that's that's the other thing. They can get expensive. Um, the Samlex, the small Samlex is about as much as the big Giandel. Uh, so Choose your power inverters wisely. Uh, I haven't had any trouble with this. It's been in operation over a year. Zero hiccups. Um, I've only had that for a month or two, but it does run my refrigerator and my sump pump. So, um, I don't know. We'll find out. That one costs about the same as this one. Uh, that's about it, guys. Take a good look. There's your prices. Um, like I said in the very beginning, I think I would buy me a 50 amp system. If I was starting over from the very beginning, I think I would buy me a 50 amp charge controller, 600 watts worth of panels up there, 600 amp hours worth of batteries. Uh, I think you'd do okay. Uh, you could take quite a bit off the grid with, with that setup. That's fact. I personally like having two systems uh, now because I can rob Peter to pay Paul or vice versa in the event that one of them gets in trouble uh, or I need to do something like, I don't know, run the refrigerator constantly for two weeks. Uh, I'd like to have another test come spring uh, and we're going to see how long I can keep the refrigerator off grid. My guess is I can probably keep it off grid most of the summer with the current setup. We'll see when that time comes around. Other than that, guys, hey, thanks for stopping by and have a good day and a better tomorrow.